Hey guys, we're gonna do a uh, little. This is August 19th or 20th. I'm not quite sure, but I got these uh, these two mystery tackle boxes. Last week, I just had no time to do it. I was in the, where the heck I, was I? I was in Captiva. Doing some stuff with uh, Bastard Billfish, but here we're gonna do the unboxing. So. Hope it's not too late. The first one we're gonna do is, is the, the saltwater one, because the saltwater one seems to be very, very, very popular. So here we go. We're gonna open it up with the trusty, I don't even know how to pronounce this, night tees, night ease, night ties, I have no idea. Anyway, it's pretty cool, multi-tool. Maybe we'll do a two minute tackle on that uh, a little later. This is the unboxing. There's no way I can do unboxing in two, under two minutes and be informative about it. So, this will not be a two minute tackle video. What's inside? It's telling me what's inside. A little card that goes that says what's inside. Let's see if that works. Ah, autofocus. Awesome. Okay. So what's inside is, is a, a, a wander, a soft shad, a live swim and shrimp, a spec tail rig, and a swim gem head. Interesting name. I think I know maybe none of these, but I know the manufacturers. Okay. This is a saltwater one. So let's see what we got. Okay. This is called the spec. Speckling, Spectail rig. You know, these are those tandem rigs for the most part. It comes wrapped like this. Let me get a little closer here. It comes wrapped in a cardboard. And what this does is it looks like a little school of bait fish coming through. Right now, there is a bunch of little small bait out in the thing. What I would do, if this doesn't work well, I would take the, the trailer, the trailer, uh, the, little, the little rubber thing off, and you'll probably catch a lot of trout with this thing right now because it'll probably go a little deeper because it's a tandem rig, so one will be higher, one will be lower, so you really can't sh uh, cast in like two feet of water, three feet of water. And this is summertime, so you want to fish a little deeper anyway. Uh, so I've been out like two weeks ago, they were tailing redfish and fish everywhere, but only the first three hours of the day. After that, they totally disappeared and uh, either underneath the mangroves on high tide, on low tide, they're way out there in like six feet of water. This would be, to t this would be good to target them in, in deeper water. There we go. This one is Bay Coast 3 8 Invisible, Invisible Jig. Actually, I have no idea what this is. Let's look for it. I'm just kidding. There we go. Wow, okay, this is pretty cool. This is the jig head made right here in the US of A in Arkansas, I know because I visited the factory with Mustad, they're using Mustad hooks in there. So this is called a J-clip. The cool thing about this thing is, let me, let, me get, let me get this out of the way. Let me get up in there. Okay, the cool thing about this thing right here is that you put the plastic down in it. Well, first of all, you take this out, right? You take this out, then you put the plastic down in it, and then you put this inside the plastic body and wrap it around the other end. So it actually holds the bait in there to the point where it's gonna be pretty difficult to actually get the plastic off unless you just tear it, right? Pretty strong hook, it looks like, as well. And the cool thing about the head, not only is it fancy with the big eyeballs and everything, it's got a curved bottom. So when you actually throw it, your, your angle would be like this, right? So it actually sits on the bottom like this, some, some, almost like a stand-up jig head. So you can bounce it off the bottom without getting snagged up, right? Because it's not like a swim head where the, the eye is right here and you can swim it right through. This one actually bounced on the bottom. So that's great for redfish. And if you swim it, it'll swim similar to, to this action here. And if you just reel slowly, it's good for tarpon and, uh, and, and snook as well. And uh, sometimes the snook love the fast retrieve. Tried one time, you have a reel in real quick and accidentally catch a fish. Well, if you start doing that, start reeling in real quick. This is a, looks like an awesome jig head. 3 8 comes in the box. All right, back. You got two of them, by the way. You know what, I should demonstrate that with this next one. This one is called Lake Fork Trophy Lure. Uh, lures with an attitude. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'll open this up for you guys. I'm not, gonna just, I'm not gonna, I don't like to unbox things, when, you, when, when I see unboxing videos and they don't actually open and, and, and mess around with the actual lure, uh, I get a little disappointed because I can Google the picture anywhere, right? But the unboxing, wow, it's really, really scented. It's garlic as heck. Just like some, uh, 
Italian cook up in here. Garlic and salt impregnated. You get three of them. It's very soft. It's very soft. Right here, as you can see, it's got a little opening right here. So you get the, the sort of action will be a lot easier to do because there's no other obstruction, no plastic to be on there. All right. The, it's got a, on the bottom, there is a indention where you hook. So you want to hook it weedless, whatever. And on the top, you want to hook it weedless as a place to hide your, your worm hook, etc. It looks like a, a shrimp slash shrimp is a shrimp slash bait fish. It smells pretty good. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. That that, that little thing, that little uh, J clip thing right now. I am stuttering today. All right. So open that clip up. Get it out of the way as much as you can. It's pliable, so it's not it's not gonna break on you. It's pliable. So I would move out of the way like that. I will go in like you could hook a normal jig head all the way in, all the way in. Let me see, get in the camera here, all the way in, all right. You go right through. I should have went a little deeper to get that space, but that's okay. But you want, the main thing is to keep it straight. So now you put it straight in. You put the hook straight, to, straight in to the side, straight in, and you feel it. I gotta look at it, guys, sorry. And you actually feel where it's gonna go. Ah, I feel the hook and I clip it on the inside. See that? So now I can't pull it out. So now you have a very, very secure bait. Very secure bait. Very difficult to pull off. See? It's actually got a metal piece holding your plastic. Works pretty good. I bet I bet this works great for uh, for gulps as well. As well as those Z-Mans that comes off the, the hook pretty easy. I bet this thing works phenomenal for that. I'm going very long here. All right. Next is Mirror Lure, based out of here in um, Largo, Florida. This is the Mirror Lure package right here. It is the four inch shad, 10 count natural uh, soft shad. This one's four inch. They, they, come in three, they come in three, four, and five as well. All right, let's open this sucker up. Come on. I cut, I cut my hand trying to stop a DJI 4 from flying off the boat, so I'm a little slow. All right, this is the, the, the Simmons Shad by Mirror Lure. Was it scented? Not as scented, it might be residue from, my, from the other one, it was so strong, the garlic. Okay, this, would be, this is a, 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 a standard, I call it paddle tail, but it's a swim tail as well. It's got a big paddle tail head. You, this is great for almost anything, really. Every saltwater species will eat this. You flutter it down on a, on a redfish, and you swim it straight through for tarpon and tarpon and snook. Uh, trout loves it too. You bounce it up and down, or swim it straight through. Depends on what the mood is, guys. If you don't see any, uh, if you don't get any bites, and you actually uh, see fish moving away, vary your retrieve. You know, of course, you know, changing every lure and, uh, out in your tackle box works as well sometimes. But you need to vary your retrieve. Sometimes it's just a reaction strike. Especially on lures like this, you zip it across, uh, you, you drop it down, work it real slow and bounce it down. You know, for redfish, I like to throw it and let it fall to the bottom, then start bouncing it within like inches of the bottom. For a snook and, and trout and tarpon, I like to throw it, let it sink for a little bit to what I, I think the desire, because the eyes, eyeballs are on the head, so you don't want it on the bottom. So you just reel it in real slow or like do a jerking action, let it flaw, the jerking action like a dying bait. Mirror Lord. All right, the next one is a Lucky Craft. Lucky Craft always make these phenomenally good looking lures. Let me give you the box. Good looking lures, but they're also phenomenally uh, priced too. I think they're one of the first premium uh, plug lures that, that I, I found out about back in the day. This is a good size. I, I, I'm one of those guys that likes the light tackle stuff. So I kind of like small lures. And to be honest with you, this time of year, these small lures are awesome because the bait are starting to hatch in T Tampa Bay area and they're keying in on the smaller lures. Uh, about two weeks ago, I was throwing like big walk the dog stuff. I was getting nothing. I changed to a smaller uh, Savage Gear uh, hard mullet. 
every other cast, uh, uh, either a snapper, small snook, trout, stuff like that. So I did it in my kayak too, so I knew exactly what fish were there because you're a little slower, you don't spook a lot of things. Well, anyways, this looks like a very nice bait for this time of year. I would definitely try this when I get a little time to, to fish. Looks like a greenback pattern, slow sinker, good saltwater hooks. Pretty sh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, nice saltwater hooks as well. Like you can probably tell, it's not, not in all cases, but the, the, the freshwater hooks are darker and they're usually weaker, but they do penetrate a little bit better. Uh, the saltwater hooks are stronger and they're usually silk to, to, for the anti corrosion. All right, last but not least, we are going to do the scratch off. Scratch off. See if I win, I'm giving it away. Let's see what we can win. Mystery tackle box, salt water, August. We will win. Well, one of you guys will win. A who? Your daddy rag right there. Who's your who rag? Those are cool guys. Let's see. What we got? I haven't won a single one yet. I opened like seven of these boxes. Have not won a single one yet, and today is no exception. Yeah, nada. Man, they must have one out of uh, 50,000 boxes going out. That's a win. All right, guys, that is it for the Mr. Tackle Box August 2016 unboxing saltwater. Saltwater. All this stuff here, these, those are photos I've taken, right? Uh, all saltwater stuff.